Hi y'all, it's Maisie Provides and welcome to my YouTube channel. As many of you know, and probably the reason why you're watching this video is last week, I started an experiment for the season of Lent. Lent is the six week period leading up to Easter. It is observed in many different sectors of the Christian faith. I was raised Methodist in our denomination, we observe Lent. So for Lent, you give something up or you start doing something during that period of time. I covered all that in my blog last week, which will be linked down in the description box below. This year for Lent, I have decided to go vegan. I'm a week in and it's been interesting to say the least. So we're just gonna go right in and start this weekly vlog with day one, which would have been last Wednesday, AKA Ash Wednesday, AKA February 26th. Day one really wasn't that bad for me. It was pretty typical actually. That morning for breakfast, I had two servings of almonds. For dinner that day, I had a spinach salad and some hummus, which I'd never had hummus before and I really liked it. And then for supper that night, I made chickpea tacos with quinoa. So the chickpea tacos, this was a little bit interesting to me. I had two fajita tortillas that I made these tacos on and I sauteed some chickpeas with some sliced bell peppers and some mushrooms and some taco seasoning. And then I had quinoa, which I seasoned as well. I got through one and a half of those tacos and maybe half my bowl of quinoa and I was full. So full that I thought that if I ate any more, I was going to get sick, which was really shocking. I did not expect that at all because you know, you hear vegan and you, I don't know, my mind automatically went to, oh, it's probably gonna be some latter meals, but I don't know, I was really, really full that very first night. Day two, again, it really wasn't that bad for me, but something important happened on day two that we kind of need to talk about the night before to do with. So as I said on day one, I was super full when I went to bed. Usually if I get that full, I don't want to eat until afternoon the next day. I mean, I'm not hungry until afternoon the next day. I didn't wake up hungry. I got ready for work, did my morning routine, and I was like, dang, I, I still don't feel hungry. This is kind of interesting. And then about halfway on my commute to work, which is about 20 minutes, I started getting uncontrollably hungry. Thankfully, I had a little cup of almonds that I'd portioned out for a snack that day. And I ate a couple of those and I put them away and I thought to myself, okay, you had five almonds, you can make it to work. You don't need to be eating and driving. You were stopped at a red light. That's okay. If you eat and drive anymore, you're going to wreck out. It's a whole big thing. So I wasn't really shocked to see that I was hungry again, but I didn't realize that I would be that hungry in that short of time from when I ate supper the night before. Day three holds a very special place in my heart because day three was my birthday, February 28th. And I'm gonna level with you, it sucked going out to eat for my birthday that night and not being able to get a steak or a bacon cheeseburger or fried chicken. I did get to go to the Common, which is a place pretty close to my house. I've been there many times for brunch on Sundays. They have great food, I'm talking like top-notch food. Here we have a salad and a vegan burger. And then we have a lane's meal, which would be a Philly cheesesteak on my birthday. Then I came home and instead of a cake, I had cashew caramel non-dairy ice cream. I think it was made with almond milk and cashew milk. It was, it was great. I mean, it didn't taste like normal ice cream would, but it was still really, really good. I was very satisfied with it. Then we get to Saturday. Uh, Saturday, Lane and I had a bunch of errands to run around town. Good afternoon. We are currently on day four. Of the vegan experiment. It was my birthday yesterday. I found some non-dairy ice cream that was pretty good actually. It was like a caramel cashew uh, little mix thing. It was really good and it was made with almond milk which I, I like almond milk to begin with um wait I, wait wait you know what i just thought of keep keep you still filming keep that going <laughs> you know what it, i just thought of something really good it might be actually a pretty good business opportunity for you too okay you know what you could do is you could like go and get a bunch of almonds and raise them up and start milking them good huh yeah we're done that, that's they do that right I, that's, how, that's how almond milk's made <laughs> we went to eat at blaze pizza for dinner first off thank god for blaze pizza and vegan cheese we have lane's pizza how many meats are on that more than yours i know that saturday night we went to a bar over in a neighboring town they have a lot of pub food a bunch of different fried options 
burgers, sandwiches. They had some steaks. You know what I got to eat? I got to eat a baked potato. No butter, no sour cream, no cheese. Just a baked potato with salt and pepper. I did have them add mushrooms to it. Uh, it made it a little bit more flavorful, but I miss my loaded baked potatoes. And I don't even have them that often, but it kind of sucked. So the next day was Sunday, which was day five of Lent and day five of my vegan experiment. Woke up, normal energy level, everything's going great. Had some leftover pizza for breakfast. Went and put up some beautiful shelves, as you can see behind me. Watched a couple movies, had a portobello mushroom quesadilla burger, which was awesome, and I will be cooking that again this weekend. And then, almost on the dot at 6 p.m., I hit a wall. And I don't just mean I hit a wall. I mean, I went 100 miles an hour into a cinder block wall. I knew this was going to happen. Every vlog, every blog, every person I've ever talked to about being vegan says, first couple of days are totally normal as far as your energy goes, and then between day five and day eight, you're just gonna, mm, it's just not gonna be a good time for you. You're gonna be so tired, so fatigued, and yeah, I was. So I went to bed, uh, thought I could sleep it off. The next morning I woke up, and sure enough, I felt like absolute trash. I felt like I'd been ran over by a semi-truck, and then went and did a thousand push-ups, a thousand sit-ups, and a thousand squats. So I thought to myself, okay, I'm just gonna see how this entire day goes for the sake of this experiment. It's probably not gonna end well, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I could barely focus at all on Monday at work. I just felt like a zombie. I was so sluggish, it was absolutely terrible. And then I got home and I thought to myself, hmm, you know what would be a good idea? Going to do like rigorous cardio and also doing leg day and maxing out on leg day and just seeing how your energy level goes. I'm even skipping The Bachelor tonight because I'm so tired. Veganism is making me skip The Bachelor. I definitely need the B12. Definitely need the B12 from here on out. Um, so I guess I'll check back in tomorrow. Woke up the next morning, took some B12 supplements. I was good to go. Uh, the next day would have been Tuesday, which is press day for us at the paper. So it was kind of busy. We wound up staying late yesterday, actually, because we had so much to do. So a coworker and I went out to supper at Uber Brew, which is a local brewery in town. I knew they had great salads, so I was happy about that. And I also knew that they had a thing called a quinoa cake. So I've grown to love quinoa in the past week. I'm probably gonna eat that whether I'm vegan or not because I just really like it. I like its texture. I like the flavor. So I'm like, oh, okay. I can get me a spinach salad and a quinoa cake and be good to go. So that's exactly what I ordered. Salad, incredible. Quinoa cake, even better than I thought it would be. So naturally, I asked our server, hey, how did I make that quinoa cake? He says, oh, I love the quinoa cake. It's so simple. So they just cook the quinoa, they season it how they like it, they bind it together with egg whites. Egg whites. Egg whites are not on the vegan diet. I accidentally broke my veganism and I didn't even know I was doing it. I thought I'd be safe with something called a quinoa cake, but nope, nope, broke the vegan diet. For anyone who's curious about the quinoa cake recipe, they bound it together with egg whites, coated it in panko, and then pan seared it. It was absolutely incredible. I'm going to figure out a way to make it without egg whites and find some sort of replacement for that. But yeah, so this is what I've learned about veganism this week. It's easy when you're cooking for yourself. It's hard when you go out to eat, especially in a state where there's more cattle than there are people. The food's not terrible. Some of it's actually quite good. Some of it I'm actually gonna use when I incorporate meat back into my diet at the end of Lent. Now, would some of this taste better if I was able to use actual animal products? Absolutely. But for now, having chickpeas, it's really not that big of a deal. Eating a salad instead of getting a giant bacon cheeseburger, probably better for me anyways. Another thing I've learned this week is, yes, you can continue your day, on a strict vegan diet without any sort of supplements to help you as far as energy goes. However, 
there's absolutely no way that I'm going to be able to get as much work done as I need to get done if I do not take B12 supplements. So I'm definitely going to have to do that. Another thing I've learned is don't knock it till you try it. Some of these products I've looked at and thought, hmm, this is not going to be good. Hummus, prime example. The word hummus just doesn't sound that appealing to me, but it was actually pretty good. And the final thing that I have learned this week, and possibly the most negative side effect for me personally, I have been bloated since I started this diet. So bloated that the only thing I could think to compare it to is being a biscuit stuffed in a can of biscuits. You know what I'm talking about. Whenever you grab a can of biscuits and you peel the wrapper off and you hit the can on the table and it pops open and all the biscuits, they kind of seep out the side. Imagine how it would feel to be one of those biscuits stuffed in that can and not being able to get out. That's how my stomach feels. I will say that today I'm filming this on Wednesday, which would be day eight of my vegan experiment and the bloating has gone down. So maybe it's gonna go down throughout this process, but right now I feel like you could prick my stomach with a needle and I would deflate and fly around the room just like a balloon. Well, that's all for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. All the links to my social media pages will be down in the description box below, as well as the link to my blog. And whether you're eating a plant-based diet or a carnivorous diet, be sure to thank an agriculturalist because they're the reason why your belly's full.